Well, let's take a look at how you can control one or more digital outputs using the low-level digital output sub-VIs. Now, the MyRio MXP connectors have two sets of 16 digital I.O. lines each, while the MSP connector has eight digital I.O. lines. Green indicates those lines that are dedicated to the task, while orange indicates those lines that are shared with secondary functions. I'll begin by right-clicking and choosing the MyRio subpalette. Look under Advanced I.O. and then Digital I.O. We have Open, Read, Write, and Close sub-VIs available. I'm going to go back to the MyRio subpalette and select the Digital Out Express VI. Turns out that this is the easiest way to get a sense of how to use these low-level functions. Click View Code and then Copy to Clipboard. I'll do Control V to Paste. We have a list of channel names as an array. We have the Smart Open as it's called. Smart Open is useful because it can work either inside, an, inside a loop or outside of a loop. It doesn't matter. Since I know eventually I want to use an open that's just dedicated to opening the channel outside of the loop, I'm going to go ahead and re replace that with the standard open. Let me expand the channel names array here. And you'll see because the Express VI was put together with only a single channel selected. That's why we see one here and all the remaining are empty in the array. You can use that pull down menu to select any of the available channels. And then here we see a Boolean array being applied to the right sub VI. If we had multiple channels specified for open, in this case two, then we see that we can access multiple DIO channels as a bus, that is, using this Boolean array. Here I'll work with individual Boolean controls, however. I assemble those into an array and then pass that off to the right sub-VI. Now let's go back to the Express VI for a moment. Back here, if you had added additional channels then you see that, of course, the block diagram is automatically updated. And that can save you a little bit of effort if you know that you're going to be working with multiple channels at once. And again, here you see the list of channels that you'll be working with all at the same time. Now, let me show you how you can set up a front panel control to make each one of these channels runtime selectable. At the moment, they are fixed inside the block diagram code, but sometimes it might be useful to be able to change that on the fly back on the front panel. Here you see the front panel control has been set up. This is a menu of choices. You simply pick the one that you want and you're all set. Because open is expecting an array we need to make sure that looks like an array. We have the build array node right there. All right, now we can work with just that individual channel. Let me get this back to simply writing a single element. Next, I'd like to show you how you can set up a loop around the right. All of this associated with open will appear before you go into your main loop. And then this portion of the code will go inside the while loop. Now with this setup, you initialize with the open. You go into the while loop to continually write values out to the digital output. When you hit stop, as just part of general cleanup, we want to free up that resource. And that way I'll connect the air cluster and the reference ID to the close sub-VI. 